Where's that advice? Where's the advice on teaching men to wife up these women? Where's the advice on teaching brothers to wife up these women? So let me get this straight. You meet a sister, let's, let's just use this condom, but we're not wifing them up. All right? We're not wifing them up. So we're just going to get some head, do what we got to do, but we're not thinking about wifing them, right? That's great advice, right? No, that's horrible advice. And your sisters need to wake up. Most of these brothers are not accountable. They don't hold themselves accountable. They want to be able to use a condom to protect their self from you. So you as a woman, you got to make better choices to say, you know what? If this brother is not going to commit to me and be my husband, I'm not giving him no pussy. But how many of you ladies are going to do that? How many of you ladies are going to really be committed to that? Takes a disciplined woman to do that. Yeah. Is he raw dogging or he got to wrap it up? Oh, no, raw. That's my now notice this. She said the guy, he don't have to wrap it up. He can go raw. Now, this is what women are doing in today's culture. Now, let me balance this thing out for a bit. Now, when it comes to a man and a woman coming together, right, sexual relations, it's supposed to be so that you can make this woman your wife. I don't know if any of you understand that, but sex equals marriage. Sex is not just something you just do. Sex equals marriage. So if you met a particular young lady, right, and you and her kicking and it seemed like y'all vibing good and you want to make this woman your wife, then surely you want to fuck her raw so you can make her your wife. So if you and a woman got together and you feeling her, she feeling you and y'all have sex and it's raw dog, most likely it's because both of y'all want to be with each other and y'all want to build a relationship. So under those circumstances, that's the pretty much the only time that I see that it's fit for you to raw dog a woman because you take her serious enough to make her your wife. If you're not planning on making a woman your wife, you shouldn't even be fucking at the end of the day. This is why we're going to get on you sisters during this show. And we're going to also get on you brothers because at the end of the day, if you're not serious about committing to a woman to build, have children, have a relationship, then you shouldn't be fucking at all. Shouldn't even be having sex. And see, all you ladies out there that just want to go out there and get some D, all of y'all going to regret it later on in life because all of you are going to become single baby mothers, right? You're going to have an extremely high body count, right? And you're going to grow old by yourself and you're going to sit there and rot away because you're going to be miserable and mad at your decisions when you were the one that caused all of this because you allowed all these men to take advantage of you. See, ladies, when you open your legs for a man that don't give a fuck about you and he's not trying to commit to you, you're a damn fool. Because all he's trying to do is bust a nut at the end of the day. He just want to bust a nut. Let's continue listening. Sound like cat. Let me, what's y'all body counts, though? Y'all quarantine body counts. Quarantine body counts. Pay attention, y'all. Over quarantine, how Over many bodies? Over quarantine? Oh, shit. Ten. Probably 10. Oh, shit. Put it on the camera. Oh, now, those are the kind of guys that are fucking these kind of women. <laughs> Let's talk about it, ladies. You see, ladies, these are the kind of men that you allow to get inside your vagina. <laughs> Those kind of men. You don't allow decent men. You allow trash to get inside your body. The lady said, I can't even call her a lady at the end of the day. You know, I can't, I can't even do that. <laughs> that was a glitch. I can't even call them ladies because at the end of the day, she said during quarantine, she had 10 bodies. Now, think about that, because that speaks volumes to what women were doing during quarantine. <laughs> so that means that during the entire quarantine, during the entire, um, you know, COVID or whatever the case is, women were locked in their house, getting it in with different brothers. <laughs> so my question to the majority of the women that are in the clouds that are listening in you know, how many bodies did you gain during quarantine? <laughs> how many bodies did you gain during quarantine? We, we need to know this because at the end of the day, this is all about education. You know what I mean? This is all about education. This is about therapy. You know, at the end of the day, you know, this is therapy. <laughs> you know, those are the kind of men or males that you allow in your body. Those are the type of guys that become your baby father, your baby daddy, Pookie and Ray Ray. Because, see, all of those guys are doing, while they sitting out there on the strip, they're just waiting to get some pussy at the end of the day. <laughs> they really don't care about you ladies. So while y'all walking around thinking y'all cute, all those guys thinking about is just busting a nut. <laughs> I'm just letting you know because that's exactly how it is in these streets. If you think that those guys are out there because they're looking for a wife, think again. 
Women love trash. Women literally are the most, how can I say, you think that, that you know, homeless people pick through the trash? No, women love trash. <laughs> women love going through the dumpsters. They love that. They love dumpster sex. You know, pick up a guy off the street and just go to the telly or even in the alleyway. Just have some hot, steamy dumpster sex. Raw dog with, with uh, ketchup as lubricant. Or duck sauce or something. I don't know. Let's just see what's going on. Let's, let's just hear what's going on. Well, yeah. <laughs> and get like that in Buffalo? And notice how the guys are, they're, they're screaming as if though, like, wow, man, she got 10 bodies. But yet you, you Negroes forgot that you were the one pumping and dumping them. See, this is the hypocrisy with you, man. You are sitting there laughing and mocking because she said she got 10 bodies. But yet you are the guys that are not committing to these ladies at the end of the day. How many of you brothers are banging these women and then you're staying in their life, taking them under your wing and building with them? To build some sort of love or some sort of relationship. You're not interested in that. So she got 10 bodies because it was 10 men just like you brothers that don't like women in terms of settling down. You just wanted to pump them and dump them. That's why she got 10 bodies. She didn't just get 10 bodies because it was 10 quality brothers that came into her life. It was 10 whoremonger males who were just there looking for some damn sex at the end of the day. And that's just real talk. Those guys are not men. Would y'all rather kiss each other or kiss him right there? Kiss each other. Now, notice this. The guy just came in and he said, would y'all rather kiss each other, right, or kiss that guy right there? Now, let's examine this for a bit because, you know, I see a lot of content creators. They use these particular clips to have commentary, but they really ain't teaching you shit, you know? So I got to do, I got to do the dirty work, right? Now, let's deal with this. Why would a straight masculine man tell two women would y'all rather kiss each other or kiss the guy why is it that we have this this thing with men promoting the it culture in all their videos why is it that men who's supposed to be masculine take pleasure seeing two women kissing each other would you straight brothers tell two men to come on camera and kiss each other? <laughs> Why is it that you guys do this? What, what's the agenda? See, what you folks out in the clouds in the chat are listening to are men that are promoting the it culture. And if you don't know what the it culture is, it's the rainbow culture. Because as masculine men, we're not supposed to be taking our women or any woman and putting them to kiss each other. Now, if that's your thing, then do what you want to do in the privacy of your own home. But as straight men, we're not supposed to be having that nonsense going on on no platform, man. If that's the case, make your platform about that lifestyle. Because it's very confusing when I see men doing that and nobody checking them. And then when I see people do reaction videos and they see those clips and they don't say nothing, it kind of make me say to myself, you're with it too. Because a straight man, he's not interested in women that are bisexual or even in any sort of alternative lifestyle. He want a woman that's into him. You understand? This brother asked the woman, would y'all rather kiss each other or kiss this dude? And, and the dude right there, he looked kind of fruity too at the end of the day. <laughs> because he looked like he wasn't even interested in no woman at all, which was kind of crazy. I'm just saying, you know, let's see what happens, man. Kiss each other. Right, kiss each other. Kiss go each ahead, go ahead. Oh. Now, is this something becoming of masculine men that run platforms? No, it's not. But this is what's going on all throughout social media where you have men that have platforms and they, they're encouraging this particular lifestyle on women. And this is not cool, especially for a man that claimed to be masculine. And what it does, it shows me that a lot of these, these content creators, they really are not masculine men. They're posing because masculine men don't promote that, you know. And if you see any content creators that are out there having women on camera doing any sort of thing like that, question them. Because if this is about promoting that life, have two men come on your platform and do that. It's about equality, right? Right. Don't don't be partial in judgment. Don't have no double standards. 
Let men come on your platform and kiss each other just like that. See two brothers and tell them, hey, brothers, do y'all want to kiss each other? <laughs> and film it so your brothers and your people can see what you promote. See, I find it very hypocritical that men will have women do this, but they don't they have a problem with men doing it. Now, what's the what's the what's the deal here? You a straight man. Look at the, look at the dude in the background. Look at his face. <laughs> look at the dude in the background. He's like, what the hell is going on? He's like, nah, bro, I, I, I can't rock with this, man. This, this just ain't cool. I, I don't know, man. This is not right, man. Shout out to the check-in report for the Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Now it's like, you got to get birth papers now. You, you really got to get birth papers to really find out who's who. And because nowadays you really don't know, you know, if you're talking to a woman, if you're talking to a dude. Because now it's like, I don't know what's going on, man. It's like, everything's crazy now. You got to get ID matches and stuff. <laughs> DNA tests. You know, matter of fact, you can't even look at their ID. You got to get blood tests now to find out if a dude is a man or if a woman is a woman. Because it's crazy. You remember that 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 so-called, um, what is it, that, that, the it, um, I think it's, uh, what is that damn it name, man? Um, the one that uh, was messing around with Chingy, the one that Chingy was getting it in with. Right. I remember there was a video where that 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 thing was out there and in, in, I don't know if it was in the city. She was out somewhere and a bunch of dudes was dancing up on it. I was like, damn. <laughs> they thought it was a woman and they were ready to get it in. And then you had a lot of rappers that were dealing with that, with, with whatever that was sexually. I, I <laughs> tell you, the world is messed up right now, man. The world is really bad. But to each his own, you know, if, if that's the way you like to play the flute, I don't know. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This dude, this masculine man, right? Well, we don't know if he's masculine. Because matter of fact, he's not masculine. Because any man that would say we like that is not a masculine man. That's a man that go both ways at the end of the day. No man should be saying I like that. So you like two women kissing, then you should like two men kissing at the same time. See, this is how most people expose themselves on YouTube. When you see two women kissing each other and a man says, we like that. That right there prove that those people are not masculine men. And this is why I've been telling all you brothers in the manosphere that what you see with Kevin Samuels is a takeover. And y'all so dumb, y'all can't see this. They're going to effeminate. Well, I don't even know if that's a damn word. Um, let's just say they are going to water down the message. They're going to water down the talking points of, of masculine men to the point where masculine men won't even be allowed to speak. It's going to the only way you can be able to talk about issues is going to be if you're effeminate, if you're flamboyant or if you are a part of the it culture. That's going to be the only way because they're going to put uh, different people in different positions where they're going to have a monopoly over the, the airwaves and the system. And that's what's happening right now. But most of these guys on YouTube, they're too dumb to see that. They can't realize that. I mean, I've seen people saying um, Kevin Samuels need to be protected at all costs. Who the fuck is Kevin Samuels that he need to be protected? <laughs> like, I don't even know why people are saying all of this nonsense at the end of the day. That man don't need to be protected. He need to be removed because he's destroying black women, right? Um, he's not an example of a man. He don't have no wife, right? Um, for a high value man, no woman, no woman in sight. No woman, nowhere in sight. There's not one woman around that could say, yo, that's, that's my, my man. But we saw the other night, he had a man allegedly in his bed. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's crazy, man. But let's get back into this. Yo. If I know him for more than three months, I'm, I'm going to let him hit. Yeah. <sighs> that's all cap. If I knew him for three months, I'm going to let him cap. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to let him cap? No, you're going to let him hit. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. That was a glitch. <laughs> Let's just listen to what she have to say. Yeah. Okay, so three months. Three months. Yeah, it depends on how long you take to take me on a date. Okay. So hold up. So she said it's going <laughs> to. 
you get in the WAP from from them is going to be determined on how quick you can take her out on a date. <laughs> so if we do the math, let me do the math real fast. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to technically take you three months because if you take her out on a date, you'll get the WAP. Because they said it'll take three months. But the guy was like, really? Really? She said, well, it depends on how long it takes you to take me out on a date. So if you take her out on a date, you'll get the WAP. It's all cap. At the end of the date, listen, brothers, these women don't dress up with their fake eyelashes, a cake of makeup to go out there, and they not giving up no WAP. And the one on the left is pretty, but she's destroying her life at the end of the day. This is why, brothers, I say that you really can't go off of how how fine a woman look. A woman could be cute, pretty, and be a thought at the end of the day. <laughs> this is why you got to get to know a woman. Because some of you brothers, you'll look at the woman on the left and you'll be like, wow, she is cute, blah, 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 nice looking. But she's destroying her life. And she's going to be the same type of woman that when she's 35, 40, now she want a man. She's going to gain weight at that time, have two or three kids, right? Got a lot of debt, bills, hurts and pains from different men, baggage, fears, insecurities. And by the time you come in, right, to deal with her, she's not going to probably tell you about her kids or her life or her past. You're going to be wondering why she got this attitude issues, why she got all these emotions, why she's making it more difficult for you, right? It's because now she want to become a Christian. She's going to start to wear daishikis. She's going to start to wear ha hair wraps. It's going to be black power this, black power that, and how she is a born-again virgin. <laughs> Women typically do this type of madness. It's like once they hit the wall or they're approaching that 35, 40, all of a sudden now they're born-again virgins. Now, all of a sudden, now they want to do the right thing. Why can't women just do the right thing when they look like that? Why? Why, ladies? Why? Why? When you are in your prime and you look your best, you don't make the best decisions. Why? Why it take for you to grow old, have two, three kids, deal with a ton of men and go through hell and hot waters before you learn how to settle down with a good man? Why? This is crazy, man. But this is what we got to deal with, brothers. So this once they do hit, are they raw dogging or they got to wrap that up? They got to wrap it up at first. She's lying. That's all cap. <laughs> they got to wrap it up at first. You're lying. First. You see the laugh? When you see the laugh, brothers, she is lying. <laughs> brothers, let me tell you something, man. A woman would give you head on the first date quicker than pussy. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a thousand with you. And keep, keep in mind what I'm saying. The woman is not going to tell you to wear a condom when she's giving you head. I'm just letting Here's you know. Here's real question. Condom or no condom? No condom. Condom. Safe Never sex, condom. baby. Notice she said safe sex and then she put up the satanic hand sign. Never, huh? Hey. Listen, man. Let me, let me explain something to you, man. <sighs> When you wear a condom, right, let me break this thing down. And again, if you're now joining in on the show, you're in the overflow or whatever the case is, you're in the clouds, you got to pay attention to what I'm saying. When you're having raw dog sex, right, if you're a brother, you want to have raw dog sex with a woman, she should be your woman, a woman that you are wifing up, right? Wearing a condom don't protect you from anything. I need for you all to understand that. It's an illusion. When your balls is slapping against that wet pussy, Right. You're not being protected. You know, if the woman is on top and she's riding your eggplant. And all of her juices are flowing down. And the sweat is building up and your balls are all moist up with her juice. You know, uh, there's no condom protecting your balls. I'm just saying, there's, there's, there's no condom for the nutsack. <laughs> and we all know that when you folks out there are having sex, 
that you're not having oral sex with a condom on. <laughs> we know that you ladies are giving brothers head with no condom. <laughs> so it makes no logical sense to wear a condom. <laughs> to have, you know, penetrational sex. When you're not using a condom for oral sex. <laughs> and also for the record, when you wear a condom, it's the equivalent of masturbation. <laughs> I don't know if anybody understand that. Bruh, listen, you put on this rubber, right? And you go inside the woman and you, you think you fucking her. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just beating your meat to some some you know, some rubber. That's all you're doing. You're not feeling those sugar walls. You haven't even experienced her juice. Nope. It would have been better if you just masturbated. This is why it's funny when you hear these type of uh, videos where it's like condom, no condom, because we all know none of these people are wearing condoms. <laughs> condom sex is boring. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a thousand. Like, condom sex would actually kill an erection, too. <laughs> it's unhealthy. <laughs> Stopping blood circulation. And what you don't know, it's a, it's a part of population control because the condom have other ingredients in it that is transferring something to the woman to make her sterile at the same time. That's a serious thing. Y'all need to do y'all research on that, man. They messing our people up out here, man. Real talk. How many STDs you have? Never had, I'm, from, hey, I'm from Boston. I don't know how I don't have any. I don't have HPV. I don't know how, but. Do you see how everybody is out here? It's like it ain't nothing out here. And remember, nobody's in no committed relationships. Everybody's just out here pumping and dumping, doing what they do, having a great time, a great old time. <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's you never a... Be, you hey, you but hey, a condom, condom and no condom. Condom and no condom. I told you not to ask me anything weird. Be real. You condom or no condom. condom. Hell no condom. What the fuck? See, that same old man can smash that chick right there. I guarantee you. He out there because he been out there for years. He been out there since he was a youth. Now, quick question so y'all can get on your way. Condom or no condom? No condom! Raw dog! How many pregnancy scares y'all had, though? What do? Notice how all their faces look. When he said, how many pregnancy scares you had? Notice that. You see their faces? How many? A lot. Too many to count. Wow. How about you? You staying quiet. I would say yes if there wasn't going to be a second date. Whoa. Yes if there wasn't going to be a second date. <laughs> she would let a man raw dog her if it's not gonna be a second date <laughs> and look at the one that's in the middle the snow bunny in the middle she just can't wait to get the D <laughs> she been waiting her whole life to get some D <laughs> daddy's little girl <laughs> wow this is what's going on, man. She would let a man hit it raw as long as it's not going to be a second date. Brothers, a lot of women out here having sex with men and they have no feelings attached. It's just all pleasure for them. They really don't care who you are. They don't care if you catch feelings. For them, it was just a moment and experience. They really don't care about you. That's sad. Those type of women are mentally dead already. They could never settle down with a quality man, ever. They have been totally totally destroyed question. after a first date would you let a guy hit yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. I wow <laughs> after a first date she would let a guy hit brothers are you seeing this 
women are going to let you hit on the first day. So I don't see why you have a lot of guys complaining that they can't get a woman, that they, you know, they're, they're going their own way. I just don't get it. Like, all these women are ready to get, get it in on the first day. The problem is, I'm going to tell you, and I already taught on this in, in videos that's on my patron page, my old classic videos. I already taught you, brothers, that a lot of times when you meet women, and again, it's different types of methods for this issue. It's like, if you're trying to get with a woman on a serious level, you got to let her know exactly what you're looking for and what you want. If you're that type of guy who's just a whoremonger or uh, just a demon who's out there just doing dirt and you try to come off like a nice guy, it's going to ruin all your chances because you're trying to be like nice to a woman that you really are only interested in for sex. So trying to go the nice guy route to be all sentimental and nice and and, you know, not rush anything, you're going to turn her off. You have to understand, today's culture, women, they just want to fuck at the end of the day. I'm just keeping it a thousand with you. That's why in order to get a quality woman, you're going to have to be that quality man that demand her to have more value so that when she come to you, she brings something to you that's going to help benefit you as a man so that you can grow with her. It's not just about you getting some sex. Once you make a woman understand that it's not just about your vagina, I actually want to get to know you for you and actually build something serious, then you're going to only attract women that are into that. But the majority of women today, they just want a guy that's wild, a guy that is outgoing, who just want to fuck just like them. So when you get with them, you got to be raw, speak to them dirty, speak to them straight up. Ain't no holding back. You tell her what you want, what you feel, you hold her, you, you do what the hell you want to do. And when you do that, that type of energy turns her on. If she's the type of woman that just want to fuck. You understand? Now, that's what the whoremonger males do. That's why it's so easy with them, for them to get those type of women. But now, if you're trying to deal with a sister on a serious level, you're going to understand that it's going to ruin a lot of opportunities you may have with women. Because you may come in contact with a sister that you want to build with her, but your approach or how you do things as a man that have morals, values, and a plan, she may not want that. It's not that you're a lame. It's not that you don't know nothing. It's just that she's a hoe. She's a thought. So when she see you, she see a real man. And at this point, she don't want a real man yet. She's going to only be interested in you once she hit 35, 40 and got two or three kids. That's when she's going to want you. I'm just saying. So in order for you to meet a quality woman, you're going to have to vet them by being who you are, be yourself, be natural as you are, and make women understand who you are and what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Attraction is good. All of that, you know, sexual energy, that's all good. But at the same time, a woman needs to know that you're a man and not just one of these guys that are just looking for some, some quick pussy. You know what I mean? They'll respect you more and you'll be more of a mystery when you're that type of guy that have a plan and you go in somewhere long term. You're going to gravitate you're going to have women that gravitate towards you because those are the kind of women that's going to fit in line with your your mission. If not, you're going to only attract thoughts that's going to disappoint you. You're going to keep getting these damn stupid numbers, women playing games, flaking on you, going through the motions. Nobody don't got time for that bullshit. You know what I mean? So I have to do a whole number stream on that, man. Real talk. I'm just going to keep it a thousand. Do here on the first date? It depends. I ain't going to lie. It depends on what? It depends meaning yes, she will. But Bye, bro. I'm living here. I ain't gonna lie to you. See? You see how easy it is to get that pussy, man? <laughs> Do you see how modern women have really no, no moral, no value, no sort of limitation? It's like, if I feel anything, then I'll let him hit. She don't know the guy from nowhere. It's just all about a feeling, how I feel. That's it. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Ladies got to get to know a brother, man. Get to know the man. I understand there's sexual energy. I understand that, you know, you see a fine sister, you want to you wanna get it in or whatever the case is, but you need to get to know the sister too, you know? She need to get to know you. Build that sexual chemistry. Build that energy so that both of you are literally connecting one to another and have that intimacy and, and that connection. And then as you grow together, begin to talk and begin to like, be like, look, where are we going with this? Are we just going to have sex and leave each other? Are we going to, you know, do this? Like, what, where do you see us going with this? You know, 
as a as a quality man, you should want to build with a woman. If that woman just wants some D or whatever the case is, you you need to know that up front. Like, wh- what do she want? That's why as a man, you got to let a woman know what, what you want. Don't play no games. Don't lie. Don't ever lie to a woman to try to get some sex. Don't ever lie. You got a woman, tell her you got a woman. Tell her where you stand. I practice polygyny. This is what I do. You got a child, let her know what it is. Don't hide nothing. Don't lie. A woman will respect you more if you just be straight up with where you are and who you are. If You got to lie to do all of this stuff. Then you're not a man. A man should not be able. To, a man shouldn't have to lie to get with a woman. That doesn't make no sense. You know, it, it just doesn't even make any sense to even be lying, man. And there's a lot of guys on YouTube, dating coaches that teach you to lie to women to get what you want. You know, that's bad. Letting it fly. Yeah. Okay, okay, wow. I'm a freak free. What? Notice her friend was all conservative, but then she's telling her friend, you're a freak freak. <laughs> Both of them are freaks at the end of the day. Both of them. That's why they out there. What, what's the... know me, bro. Uh, they cap. They cap it. But, but they just told me they're not raw dogging, though. They just told me they're not raw dogging, but now they freak freaks. If he, like, genuine and, like, feeling me and I'm feeling him, but then why not? Why not, right? Why not? At the end of the day, because I've said before, regarding my field studies and the things that I've seen, and don't ever let your ego, right, of her allow... Hey, isn't that that uh, media, mediocre guy? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the guy that makes tutorials that I don't see? <laughs> I want to hear what he got to say. I want to hear the advice that he's going to give because, you know, when we really think about content creators, right, um, we want to see if the advice that they give people is beneficial to the community. <laughs> right? Okay, let's, let's roll the footage. The beautiful bean footage. Shout out to Tommy Sotomayor. That's his quote. <laughs> Make sure I ain't, I'm, I, give, I give proper credit. You know, because nowadays everybody's stealing talking points. <laughs> so roll that beautiful bean footage. And you to do that to override the potential consequences, because there's some major consequences there. You just saw it right there from the young light-skinned girl. If he's got a job, really, that's your expectations? That's, that's your standards? <laughs> if he has a job, that's it? So don't let your ego override pure logic. Pure logic says, wrap it up. You're protecting yourself, not only STDs, but also pregnancy scares as well, here's a now let me get this straight. You're telling brothers, you know, to to wrap it up, <laughs> to avoid uh, possible scares, pregnancies, STDs, and so forth. <laughs> the best thing to do, uh, as a grown man that com- that con- that is concerned about the community, <laughs> would be to tell the women to keep their legs closed, and to teach brothers that if you want to avoid possible pregnancies, don't have sex with women that you don't plan on committing to. That's what you call real advice. The real advice is to tell women that if a man is not going to commit to you and be your man, then you should consider not opening your legs. Right? Because... These be the same men that'll talk about how women are out there giving their vagina away, high body count, but yet they're encouraging men to put on these condoms. Why? To avoid the consequences of pregnancies, uh, you know, STDs and so forth. While simultaneously adding to the problem and the dysfunction of women having high body counts, women going through the makeup breakups, having emotional issues. This is what men promote. You see, are we trying to help women? Are we trying to really help men? Or are we just trying to hide from responsibility? You see, If a man is choosing to wear a condom with you, it says that he don't want to have a baby. So as a woman, you should say, get the fuck out of my life. If a man choose to use this condom, it's because he really don't take you serious. 
He's not trying to commit. Do that man on the screen have a wife? There's no wife. Do he have children? I doubt it. So, you are using these condoms on women that you have not committed to. You're using these condoms to have sex with our women, but you're not committed to them. Which means you, Mr. Tutorial, need to make a tutorial on how to avoid having sex. <laughs> Unless you are committed to this woman. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how any of you other brothers do what you do. I personally feel that if you're dealing with a woman, you need to make her your woman. If you're going to fuck a woman, make her your woman. That's why I teach polygyny. This ain't a game. This is not this. You should not be out there just trying to have sex with a woman to just throw her away. That's not what men do. Men take care of their women. You don't do that as men. So promoting the uses of condoms and you have no wife, you have no kids, you have no family mean that you are contributing to the body count of different women rising up which makes you no different than all the men out there that are whoremongers degrading and destroying our women. Let's hear some more. You know that, right? You know that, right, ladies? That you make the decision to make a man get into your body. You, you do realize that, right? You do realize that that's not my fault, right? Yeah, well, I could do what I want to do with my body and I could do whatever I want and I'm going to fuck who I want to fuck and I'm going to do whatever. Well, then why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you listening to a man try to teach and educate women to respect themselves if that's what you want to do? It's insane to listen to somebody try to teach you to do the right thing when you want to do the wrong thing. If you want to do the wrong thing, log off and go give a man head in whom you don't know. And don't waste your time. If you're the type of brother that just want to be a whoremonger, you don't care about righteousness. You don't want to do nothing right. Why are you viewing me? You already don't know what I stand for. I'm about family growth, family development, business, productivity, excellence. That's what I'm about. I'm about taking care of your woman, your women, your children. That's what we teach here. So you're not going to find me giving you advice on how to pump and dump women. You, you're not going to find that here. You're going to find me rebuking you and correcting you on how to be a man because most of you brothers are not men all you do is use our women for sex and you leave them broken and you talk shit on youtube about high body count when you out there banging all of our women and leaving them with babies you have some nerve you see these brothers they're doing it all the time oh the black women is this and the black women is that but what are these guys who are all these men having sex with out here the black woman they talk all of this crap about the black women, but they're out here trying to screw the black women. You got men talk so much crap about single mothers and they be the first to line up to get some head from a single mother. It's not the single mother's fault that she's single. Yeah, you got some women out here that got two, three, four, five kids by different men. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about women that was in a relationship. It went downhill. She's a single mother can't blame her for being a single mother because she was in, a, in an awkward situation most of you brothers that complain about single mothers your mom was a single mother and she raised you see what I find is that it's easy to target the single mother and bash her and put her down but yet we just finished watching a bunch of women that are single no kids but they're out there being hoes you brothers would get with them to have sex. And the reason why you brothers don't want to deal with a single mother, and I'm not 
promoting that you have to. It's your choice. The reason why you don't want the single mother is because she got kids and, you know, a woman that got kids got responsibilities. So she's not going to be so quick to just let you in her world. But the woman that got no kids, she got no attachment. So it's easy for you to get in there to get that time that you want to have sex with her. That's what you brothers want to do. You don't care about our women. You don't care about them at all. All you see them as is a piece of meat to use for your personal pleasure. That's what men see our women for today. You know, it is what it is. But they want to get mad at me for speaking the truth. The truth hurts, right? We saw a multitude of women. They all said they would let a man raw dog them on the first day. How many women in the clouds right now? How many women right now? It's 4 a.m. New York time. Are you getting raw dogged right now? <laughs> How many women right now are getting raw? With that said, shout out to all the baby mamas. <laughs> shout out to all the single mothers. Shout out to all the single ladies that got no kids. You know, shout out to all the brothers out there that's working hard, doing what they got to do. You know what I mean? I hope somebody kind of learn and see what's going on in this video stream that, you know, this is real talk. You know what I mean? I know I have my, my laughter tracks and it's funny as hell and whatnot, but, you know, I'm trying to educate the people and show them what's going on. So it is what it is, man. So, yeah, we're going to sign out. I'm going to go get me something to eat. You know how it is. Shout out to Fitness Information. See you in the building. Let me see who else came in here. Lord Bison, what's going on? Let me see anybody else. I don't want to forget nobody. I shout out all my members, everybody. I think I shouted out the queen before you. I think I shouted her out. Um, yeah. All right, all right. You already done know it's Blackmail Advice TV. You already done know. You done know. Blackmail Advice TV, the only channel on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. You know, it is what it is, man. But we bring you the best content. The best content in America. The best content all over the world. I mean, who else does it like Ringo TV Raw? I mean, who else? Nobody. So, might as well you subscribe right now. Because this is Blackmail Advice TV. Right? So we gone, y'all. It's Blackmail Advice TV. The only channel on YouTube. Bringing you the truth, 100% raw and uncut, the way you need to hear it. And we out, y'all. God bless, one love. We out, y'all. Peace. You done know we out, y'all. <laughs> if you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash RingoTVRaw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at RingoTVRaw. This is Blackmail Advice TV. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw and uncut. I'm out. Peace.